Hello and welcome to my second tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to draw eggs from the Box Trolls movie. So this is the final piece that I did yesterday and it's in pencil and pro marker pens. So obviously you need some paper and you need a pencil. And let's begin. So remember to draw lightly in case you need to rub anything out. And first of all, we're going to start with the shape of the head. Now, his head shape's a bit unusual. It's kind of like an upside-down triangle with nice, soft, rounded edges. So very lightly. You don't need to draw it all in one go. You can just do some light lines. And we're going to do our upside-down curvy triangle. Then we're going to put in a construction line or a guideline and this is going to show where the nose is going to fall. And then we're going to put in the edge of the nose and the nostrils. Now this line down the middle as well can also be a guideline to show where our shading will go. And we're going to build up around that. We're going to place in a guideline of where we, our eyes will sit. The eyes are a bit unusual shaped really, um, they're kind of like a square, sort of a rectangle but with a pointy end on one side. Then we're going to put a line above the, the uh, eye to put in the eyelid and then we're going to put in our pupil. And then on the other side we're going to have two pointy ends on our rectangle as his head's turned sort of slightly the other way. Adding in the, the bottom lid and the top lid. And then once again we're going to put one circle and then sort of a moon shape. Now I've done that moon shape there because we need to remember to leave a white spot. Um, that won't be coloured and that's going to be the, where the light reflects off the eye. Now the ears sit just at the top of the eyes. Round to the top of the eye, that's it. And next I'm going to put in my eyebrows. I'll be adding the texture of the eyebrows when I put in the colour. So I'm just going to draw a guideline there. And I can add the detail later. Now the mouth shape sort of a bit like a speech bubble that you just saw there. Or you can think of it as a teardrop shape. Add your lip and teeth in. Bottom lip obviously slightly bigger. And then I'm going to place him where the neck will be. I've done that curved circle there as that will be the, the cutout in the box as he wears a box. I'm going to put in his hair shape now. I'm not going to make too much fuss of this because I'll be adding it in when I do the colouring. Um, if you've seen the movie you'll know his hair is kind of matted and dirty so it's in sections that are stuck together. So I'm, I'm, that's why I'm drawing the hair in sections. It's basically just wavy lines that join up. You can go, uh, go crazy and, and do the hair however you want. I've got to mention in the last video, please feel free to comment below with what you think of the tutorial and also to let me know what you'd like me to draw next if you've got some ideas, something you're after. Now I'm just putting in the box shape here. That's my little girl just waking up. The box is diagonal, this is to make it look 3D looking. I'm adding in the top of the poster there. Each of the uh, box trolls has um, 
a different box from a different product of different things. So it could be fish, ink, um, and that's why eggs is called eggs because his box is an eggs box. <laughs> X box. Ha ha ha. Sorry about the bad jokes. So I'm just laying in here the bottom part of the box. Remember to do everything lightly because then if you're not happy with anything you can always go back and change it. Whereas if it's too dark you can't. So I'm putting in another cutout in the box and this is where his arm will be popping out. And then I've done the back part of the box. Now with the hands, there's two ways you can do hands. You can either draw like that. It's a bit like if you imagine that you've got a mitten on your hand. Um, you can draw that and then add in the fingers later. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or, as you'll see on the other side, you can draw each finger in and count as you go. The hands grip in the box, so you'll see in a moment I do the curved fingers to show that. One, two, three. Now adding the bandages, as he's got bandages on his hands and arms, you can see I'm doing a sort of a, an M shape, or kind of like if you think of birds, when you draw those birds in the M shape. This is so that it looks 3D and curved, shows the contours of the fingers and the arm. Anyway, I'm going to have to finish up here. Uh, please let me know what you think and what you'd like me to do next. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.